Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Citadel with me, Daniel M. Um, today I am bringing you round three of our store tournament. Um, we have got on the left hand side uh, Daisy again uh, playing his Lannister to Dragon deck that we saw in the last game, and on the right uh, we've got me playing my Martel Dragon deck that you've seen in previous videos as well. Um, this will be probably one of the last games you see me playing this deck um, for a little while at least. Um, I played it in the build up to this tournament to get really used to it. Um, now the tournament's over, I think I'll probably move on to something a bit different. So hopefully we'll see some uh, different brews from me. Um, me and Daisy have played this game out quite a lot of times. Um, it's a matchup we kind of know relatively well. Um, he has kind of better seven cost characters, however I have better ways to kill his characters. So um, a lot of this game will depend on what kill pieces I see early on and um, how quickly he can get his board set up um, and whether I can uh, control his board enough to uh, allow myself to get a, an advantage. Um, generally speaking, I like Martel's matchup against Lannister just because they allow things like a Tainted and Nymeria allow for that Tywin death. Um, however, Daisy had on the day played quite a few Martel and had quite a little success um, against them. So in this matchup, we'll have to see whether his luck holds out or whether I'm able uh, to kill a lot of things. So. Setup. Neither of us got an amazing setup. It's both relatively decent, got a bit of economy, uh, got a kind of mid range character, him in the Insolid, me was slightly better with uh, Magister Illyrio. Um, but he got the Crone, which is uh, just a kind of a bit of a banter card he's got in his deck, um, just to maybe get some cheeky kills off with his Intrigue claim, because I know he's running Cersei. Um, and I've got a Reducer Chud. So, um, Daisy gets out Tywin on the first turn, so not really what I wanted to see. Um, I am now thinking about what I can do to answer that. Um, I think I can see a duped Nymeria in my hand, and I think that's probably my plan for what I'm going to get out. I'm going to use that King's Road to get her out so that uh, I'm not limited to just playing her this turn, and I can maybe uh, get a another character out on the board and help myself get set up a bit more because I know once uh, Miri turns up um, and he's, I know he's got Tears of Lists, I know he's got Put to the Sword, that's a, a lot of kill pieces so I'm going to need kind of that protection with uh, plenty of claim soak as well as dupes on my character. Um, so typically I like to see um, either kind of a, a four or five card setup with this deck or I'd like to see something big. Um, the reason I kept this hand is because it had the uh, economy alongside Magister Illyrio, which um, sets you up for when you draw those bigger pieces. Um, what we've just seen me is play Green Blood Trader, and I'm about to make a mistake. Um, <laughs> I choose to keep the Unsullied rather than the Attainted because I quickly looked at my hand and thought I already had one. However, I now look at it again and realize it's a Condemned. Um, so I think choosing to put that attainted back away into the deck has uh, potentially screwed me longer term for when I do draw that tears. Um, so I think that's a serious mistake I've made. Um, if I'd been able to spend that last remaining gold on an attainted on Tywin as well and leave him with just a military icon, I would have been in a much better situation moving forward in the game. Um, so seeing that gold left on Daisy's um, plot card makes me nervous, especially when I've got Nymeria out, um, thinking about tears. Uh, Daisy's just asking if I had any actions. I was tempted to take away Tywin's military icon. Um, however, I decided to wait to see what he would do. So he's done an intrigue challenge with Tywin, which I'm going to defend with the green blood Threader. Um, just asking Daisy to slow down because I'm just debating whether I do want to take that Intrigue Icon. Um, uh, 
and I'm taking the intrigue icon from the crone. Um, what this allows me to do is this protects my Myria from potential tears of lease shenanigans. Um, and also, when I return, I'm just going to get me an unopposed uh, intrigue challenge back at Daisy. So I think that's one of the biggest difficulties with Nymeria is despite being really powerful and giving you a lot of icon versatility, she is very pr prone to tears if you're not careful with how you use her. So if you get overzealous and you take a military icon from someone early on to try and prevent that put to the sword or try and get yourself some unopposed challenges, she can then die to tears very easily. I played the um, Viper Eyes, uh, thinking, okay, I can get rid of that tears. However, I saw he had Miri Mazdor in hand, so I uh, had to get rid of that way before um, I get rid of the tears at least, because I can, while I can play around tears at least, Miri is going to be much harder to play around. And for claim, I get rid of the green blood trader because I want to uh, keep the reducer out on the board um, as economy moving forward to help me get out more characters. Often I like to um, keep the green blood traders out on the board uh, so that when first snow, you can replay them for more card draw, which is very nice. But at this point in the game, um, I need the economy more than I need um, more card draw. Doing an entry challenge with Nymeria, hoping to get the Tears Elise, but just hitting a Jura, and doing an unopposed power challenge with Illyrio. So uh, Daisy's going to win dominance, uh, but I'm entering the first round on three power to Daisy's one. However, he should have had a power on Tywin for the entry challenge that he won with uh, with him. I think he maybe got uh, slightly confused um, with all the actions going on with uh, giving Nymeria icons and playing his lease. Um, something we've seen in the previous video of Daisy kind of gets carried away uh, playing his events and his reactions and sometimes forgets other ones, namely Tyrion or paid off in the previous video. Daisy, work on it. Um, <coughs> Ooh, so both for the second round playing summons. Um, I think taking that Miri out of Daisy's hand um, has left him without anything too significant to maybe play this turn. Um, so he's going to go looking for cards. I can see Miri there, which I'm going to go and get. And Daisy gets a Miri as well. Um, so... Daisy's got enough economy between four gold from Summons uh, and uh, another gold from the Rose Road and two gold from Tywin. He's got enough money to get Miri out this turn. So that's going to be um, something I really have to deal with going forward, especially as I don't have enough money to get my own Miri out to put pressure on him. So I'm going to have to play quite defensively until I can get a board state together that's going to allow me to defend against Miri consistently. Um, I am in a relatively good position. I can let a couple of challenges maybe go through because I've got a dupe on Nymeria and Illyrio, my two char big characters that I care about out. Um, does protect, protect me a little bit. Um, however, it's still going to be something I want to play around because those dupes get whittled away very quickly when uh, Miri gets out on the board. Um, one of the mistakes and things that I'd be interested on interesting people's comments on uh, going forward with this game is I remember in this game I don't think I saved gold for Illyrio that much um, I think it's a really powerful effect and I think sometimes you feel a little um, gold starved when you're not playing say an Arb deck or a Tywin deck um, so financing him can be quite difficult if there are any times you think I should have saved money to use a character a second time um, just comment below and let me know um, I'd be quite interested to see people's theory on when it is kind of worthwhile saving that money for Illyria, getting a second use out of a more impactful character. So, as I said, um, Daisy's got the gold, so he drops Miri out. And I immediately put myself in a situation where I have to think about how I can defend. So, 
at the minute what I'm doing is I'm doing the math about how to defend against Miri. And I've realized the only way I can defend against Miri is um, by using both Nymeria and Illyrio. And what I can't do is I can't strip an icon off Miri um, because by stripping that icon, um, I then put myself in a situation where I can only defend, say for example, I did strip an in intrigue icon from her. If she does a power challenge, I can only defend with Illyrio um, and can't win it on defense. So I have to wait until he declares and then steal an icon, which isn't the best position to be put, to be in. So effectively, the only characters I've got um, to use for attack, unless I want to lose a <clears throat> challenge against Miri, is Sirio and potentially the Chud. So I'm in. A, I feel like I'm in a difficult situation. So I'm going to do a cheeky power challenge with the Chud. Uh, which is going to go unopposed because Daisy wants to swing back at me with his characters. And I'm going to do a military challenge, um, Stealthy Unsully, just to try and get him to kneel out uh, Tywin so he can't use him offensively. I'm going to get that unopposed as well, and uh, Daisy's just going to kill off a chud. Um, He could have defended with Tywin because he would have got that military challenge through um, with the Unsullied. He could have then used the Crone for an Intrigue and Miri for a power. Um, trying to doing the other challenges first, trying to tempt me to kneel characters. Um, I think one of the real powers of Miri, while yes, the kill is amazing, I think one of the powers of her is the fact that as soon as she hits the board, she demands that your opponent finds an answer. Um, and that answer might just be having to over defend on that one challenge. Um, so I'm going to have to let quite a few challenges go unopposed. So I lose the challenge, I play Viper Eyes. Um, I can see the tears, which I'm tempted to get rid of, but I can also see the Jamie, uh, which I want to get rid of. So I don't want him to have that additional standing military renown. Um, in this game because it will speed him up too much until I can find an answer. And I'm going to have to claim the reducer. I don't want to get rid of, um, I'm debating getting rid of one of the duplicates, um, but I think I need them to keep them safe for it in case Miri does get through. So Miri just declares for power. I take a power icon off her. Um, she's obviously still in the challenge, um, and I defend and win with both those characters, which does mean that um, Daisy is able to do an unopposed challenge with Tywin. Um, so Daisy, nice bit of banter, just <laughs> using the Chrome to kill Jura. So a uh, tar character killing a tar character and remembering the renown this time, so that's good. So Dom is a tie because he used the crane to kill Jura. Um, there's maybe an argument for leaving the crane standing to win dominance. Uh, however, I think killing Jura is uh, too good of an effect to uh, shirk on. If it was a non-unique character, um, like a palace spearman or a knight of the sun, he'd probably just leave it to get discarded. Um, what he's hoping is that um, I eventually in the game will hopefully end up drawing into dead characters just by whittling them away out of my hand that way. I think he's only got maybe one of them in the deck or two, um, but it does allow for some uh, interesting uh, plays when he's got that and he's got the mountain out. Um, so Daisy playing a confis uh, confiscation to get rid of the um, condemned, um, and I'm playing trading. Um, I don't like doing it necessarily this early. Um, however, Daisy's got two really big characters out. He's got a lot of gold from Tywin anyway, um, and my thinking is I need that high gold plot to get enough characters out on the board um, to get Miri out, maybe my own Miri out, but also be able to answer his.
Um, so, um, what you can see at this point is this is the third game. This is after we'd had our lunch break. Um, and you just on the far side of the screen you can see the sweets that I bought for everyone and uh, distributed about so that uh, we uh, get that sugar rush going post lunch to make sure everyone's uh, nice and on it leading up to the finals. Um, especially having played two games already, um, in the afternoon is when you start to see some more mistakes as people are playing more and more games. So putting out a Knight of the Sun and getting my own Miri. Uh, going, choosing, oh, Daisy's chosen to go second so that um, I can't play out, I'm assuming maybe so he can't, I can't play attachments out on new characters that he drops, but um, still got an obscene amount of gold. He's got 10 gold as well on a 4 gold plot because he's got 4 from the plot, 2 extra from Tywin, 1 extra from the Rose Road and then 3 from my trading. So he can do a lot with that. Mm. Now this is kind of dangerous. Um, he's got out his own Illyrio and with a lot of gold. So he is going to be, if he wants to, able to um, draw out an over defence with the first Miri challenge, um, stand her and then use her again. Um, so that's something I've got to really be careful with. Make sure I've got enough to defend um, against her. And then still have to deal with the rest of his board. So that is such a threat coming towards me, especially with the Serio out there and my own Miri. Um, my hope is, my hope was um, that I'd be able to get a Miri challenge through, but um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Uh, his marshalling, getting that uh, Illyrio down, um, has really meant that I'm uh, in an awkward situation. So I'm going to give Miri a uh, military icon and stealth, and I'm doing a military challenge with uh, Miri, stealthing Tywin. I kind of suspected the Hound was there, um, but needed to draw it out. Um, so he's going to bring the Hound in and uh, kneel and defend. So I'm not going to get my Miri challenge through this turn. <laughs> I was hoping um, if he didn't have it in hand that um, I'd get the Miri challenge through, be able to kill his Miri, um, and that would leave me in a much better situation moving forward. I think um, Sirio in a Miri deck is almost, you almost have to have two of just because he is so powerful with her and it's so nice to be able to just do a military challenge with her um, because you're not then replacing your intrigue or power claim because the thing I found with the power claim is it does, if you're replacing all your power claim it slows down the game um, and you can enable your opponents to just creep away despite you killing all their big characters um, and replacing intrigue claim is never good um, just because taking things out of the hand is taking away their options. Um, by replacing military claim, you're effectively say um, replacing a chud dying with uh, killing something impactful. It becomes a put to the sword or something. So with that hound play, um, Daisy has left me with limited number of options. I'm just going through the math here about um, how I can prevent him from wiping my board out. I've realised that if I take an Intrigue icon off Miri, um, she's only got power and I can defend a power challenge with Illyrio and the Knights of the Sun, so I can do an Intrigue challenge um, for four. So if he uses Illyrio to defend it, um, I still win. If he uses Tywin, um, I've nullified the threat of um, maybe a put to the sword. So Tywin has defended, um, so I don't have to worry about that too much. 
I now can't use Sirio because obviously I did my military challenge with uh, Miri, um, so he's going to be left standing for defence. As said, um, Daisy swings back with military and I defend with Sirio. So now I have to decide, unfortunately, what to claim. I choose to claim, claim um, the Illyrio just because if I'm going to have to lose, I don't want to kill a character to put myself behind in ball position. Um, while that does make him vulnerable, uh, I think that is the worst bad option, is the best bad option. Intrigue, I'm going to let it go unopposed. And uh, Daisy playing the tears on Syria. So that has nullified, um, gotten rid of part of my Miri threat there because uh, now it's going to be very hard for me to get through a challenge with her. And um, yeah, so that Miri threat almost acts as a, as a faint, a little distraction so that he could get through that tears um, to kill off my Syrio. So, um, while I've got a decent board, I don't feel good right now in the game. Um, <clears throat> I feel like um, I don't have the answers that I need yet um, for Izmiri, unless I can go first and um, try and uh, kill her off. So, um, in this challenge, um, I'm looking for some way to nullify Tywin so I can get through a Miri challenge. Um, I don't know if I've got it in my hand at the minute, um, but I can. I do know that Daisy has got the Hound. So if Daisy goes first, he can do a power challenge with Miri and the Hound, uh, win it, and I'm going to have be find it really difficult to find any sort of answer to that. So, at this point of the game, I had a Varys in hand, and I was debating going back and forth um, between playing and counting coppers and um, playing uh, calling the banners. The um, reason I played counting coppers is what I was hoping to do is I was hoping to draw another dupe um, for one of my characters, hopefully Miri, um, so that if I did reset the board, um, I'd be able to if I reset the board I'd be in a much more advantageous situation because at the minute uh, with a dupe on Tywin and a dupe on Illyrio Daisy would be in a much better situation versus just my Nymeria so a board reset isn't going to help me overly much um, so what that counting cough has did is it drew me into another Nymeria dupe um, so now the um, the reset is looking slightly more appealing uh, but I think um what I've reside, um, settled on is no matter what, I'm going to reset um, next round. Hope to reset next round just to try and get myself back in the game a bit more. Whether Miri goes or not, um, just to get rid of his Miri because um, if it's just Tywin and Illyrio, I can play around Tywin um, and I'm hoping I've got enough in my hands um, to put some pressure on him. So what you can see is I've played out... Um, uh, Gaston Grey uh, and the King's Road. Um, the Gaston is for one of two purposes. It can either uh, remove a character that's got a dupe on it um, so that the Varus, um, for that character that the Varus wouldn't remove, or I'm going to keep it and hold on to it um, for the round around um, after the Varus where I can wipe a character. Um, preferably the tie-in for the uh, economy hit it'll do. And I'm just in a stalling game now. Um, after getting six power really early on, you've seen I haven't really gained a whole lot um, in the game, and it's really stalled out. He's knelt up my Miri, so I don't have a threat to go back at him. Um, 
However, by taking um, Miri's intrigue icon, um, the thinking there, <laughs> unfortunately, was thinking that it forces her to do a power, and I can defend that with Illyrio and the Knights of the Sun. However, with that hound there on the board, um, I really should have taken the power icon from her. Um, so that... Um, I should, because even but even taking the power icon from her wouldn't have done a huge amount because then she'd be able to swing in and win a challenge by herself just defending with Illyrio. So I was just hoping he wouldn't use the hound and make a mistake. <laughs> so ambush hitting in the paid off, um, is, which is a card in Daisy's deck, which somehow I always forget about, and it always gets me. Um, and in this case, is really going to let him get a lot of unopposed challenges, um, and he's going to get through a Miri. Uh, my only hope is that he doesn't uh, realise that I want to reset, and maybe will try and kill my Miri. Oh, there on Tenter Hooks, hoping he wouldn't draw the virus out of my hand, um, and uh, he gets rid of um, an Unsullied. Which isn't great, it would have been one of the characters I would have played um, after Varus um, to try and help me get back into the game, but at least uh, it doesn't completely screw me. Damage, challenge for three. There's no way I can win it um, on defense. So a character is going to die no matter what. I'm debating getting rid of the Knights of the Sun. As a non unique character, however, they are standing up. So I think what I'm going to do is possibly get rid of Illyrio, just because, um, as I said, I'm planning on that reset. <laughs> Daisy applying pressure really well here. Um, that renown on Tywin is really mounting up. And I go for the Knight of um the um, knights in the end, realizing that um, Illyrio is going to give me more options for defending against uh, Miri long term. Uh, and Daisy's going to do an unopposed power challenge. Bouncing Miri back to hand with Gaston um, just to prevent that trigger um, so that I've got enough characters on the board next round um, to try and maintain presence. Um, I think there's definitely an argument for that I should have done it for Tywin to get the power off him and to discard the duplicate. Um, possibly a stronger play um, long term, thinking about the reset and stalling the game out. Um, however, short term, I was just thinking about trying to prevent that Miri trigger. And... Um, be able to stall out the game so I can get the uh, Varus. I think because he's Daisy's now on nine power, um, preventing that by returning um, Tywin to hand and him then only being on six probably is the better call there. Um, if you disagree, please leave a comment below um, and let me know. Daisy playing trading, so I do not <laughs> want to see what he's going to be dropping this round. Uh, and myself playing calling the banners so that I can uh, get Varys out. I'm opting to go second, uh, just to try and encourage him to get out as much as possible so that when I do reset, um, his hand is as empty as possible. However, with him being on 10 power from winning dominance as well, um, that's if... Uh, if the game goes that long. Milking my Miri, which not too upset by. Um, 
Daisy thinking he was getting to a point where he felt like he might struggle to deal with her. Um, but from my perspective, um, she was going to be geek discarded anyway. And playing out Miri and Tyrion. So that is a very juicy board to Varys. Um, especially with the fact that in the last uh, draw phase, I had actually drawn a dupe for Miri. Um, so my plan at this time was thinking, okay, well, uh, what I need to do is I need to, um, next turn after Varys, play Confiscation to um, discard the milk off Miri and then uh, try to get back into the game by uh, killing a um, Tywin because the uh, attainted on Miri um, would come back to my hand and I'd be able to attain uh, Tywin and play out the game from there. And there we have the Varys. However, the issue I can now see um, is whether I'll actually get through this round at all. And I'm just going to take Miri's power icon uh, with Nymeria just so that she can't do any challenges. Um, there is probably an argument for taking a military icon so that um, I wouldn't give away an unopposed military challenge. However, I just wanted, didn't want to have to worry about doing, um, didn't want to have to worry about dealing with um, Miri at all this turn. So Daisy just thinking about what he's going to do uh, challenges wise um, and I'm just thinking defend as much as possible. Hopefully maybe get through an entry challenge of my own uh, while protecting my own hand. Daisy's going to do a power challenge with the Hound and Tywin. I hope I defend this. I think giving away an unopposed challenge at this point in the game uh, with Daisy so close to winning um, would be dangerous. I think maybe the difficulty is what I, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't done the maths correctly and seen that he is in fact on 10 power. So I nearly defended with Illyrio, um, which would have been a mistake um, because Nymeria is a monocon, so I'm just going to defend with her um, and lose power. I was, um, as I was just saying, I was trying to debate um, winning the challenge um, against his 12. However, that would have meant I would have needed to kneel out Nymeria, Illyrio and... Um, and Miri, um, what it would have done is it would have kept the Hound on board, meaning that he didn't have him going into the next challenge. So doing a military challenge, I'm going to claim Illyrio. Getting it unopposed. He's now on 13 power. And he's going to get an entry challenge unopposed and then win Dom. So, didn't actually even get to a point where I could uh, use the Varus, unfortunately. And what you can see me now is I'm just playing it out. <laughs> and he's going to uh, pay Miri off anyway. Um, but I've got plenty of gold, so I'll just pay to stand there. I'm hoping there's some way, um, I think with the um, icon stripped off Miri, with the Illyrio, there's just no any way I can win dominance now. Um, so unfortunately, it's just about playing this game out. And uh, <laughs> that was the point in which I realised quite how much power he was on and how close to winning he was. 
So I think uh, there's a couple of mistakes made in this game. Um, I think I should have Varus the turn earlier. Um, I think I probably should have Gaston the Tywin, turned into hand to uh, draw the game out. Um, if I'd drawn the game out, if I'd managed to get through that Varus, the game might have uh, turned around in my favour. But um, by this point, Daisy had such a lead that um, it was difficult to come back from. I think I made a few mistakes here that uh, lost me this game. Um, but as I said, just playing it out, trying to claim a power from him with uh, Miri, force him to kneel enough. I'm just thinking, is there any way I can win dominance? He's got 11 for dominance. Um, I've realised that if I... Uh, He uh, pays his two. I'm there hoping he won't realise about Illyrio standing Tywin. Um, but he does. He stands Tywin, gets that six boost. And unfortunately this turn, uh, Varys didn't save me due to my poor play. Um, if you got anything else that you saw this game that I could have done differently or um, just want to congratulate Daisy on his uh, good play this uh, tournament, um, just let us know below, guys. But uh, keep the comments friendly. Um, see you next Tuesday. Bye.